Hey, what's up there boys and gals? And perhaps there's a few of you aliens, and maybe there's one of you or two of you animals out there, perhaps a parrot that actually understands English. And, uh, yeah, so I found myself a uh, sweet, uh, ooh, 93 and under Dodge Ram made into a camper conversion. And I haven't even been outside fucking uh, 20 minutes, and the sunscreen is already going into one of my eyes. It's so hot today. It's, it's incredible. This hasn't been seen, apparently, since the 60s. Uh, where it's, like, gonna be 30, 31 degrees Celsius today, and it's, what, the 24th of, uh, 24th of September. Yeah, and regardless, uh, since I haven't biked much this year, I'm like, I got the Schwinn out there to 58. I want to enjoy it as much as I can. Even though I got a goddamn hernia, which is going to be, uh, I got to get some sort of preliminary tests uh, done. Uh, I don't know, say they know what to watch out for uh, when I get an operation done. Boy, this is one of the nicest Dodges I've ever seen. Look, it's got, it's got um, flared fenders, it's got the old mag wheels, it's got the running board, it's got nice graphics. It's a fucking nice old van, man. You don't see them uh, this kind of cool, you know? Oh yeah, typical, uh, typical blue interior. Yeah, typical late 80s blue interior, even the early 90s. See, I put my bike up close like that because this is in Westmount, you know? This is a fucking ghetto here. I mean, uh, the charms of the streets are there, but things are often not what they seem. Matter of fact, there was an attempted murder just last night, not too far from here, in the hush like a district of Montreal. Quebec. Got your spare there, you got your raised roof, ladder. Right on. I'm glad I just, uh, by the way, I just uploaded a video before I left of a ride. Thanks again, Jerry, and his uh, 79 GMC Rally STX. Uh, just had a rebuilt 350 in it. Had the doghouse off of it. And if you don't know what the doghouse is, it's the part that's over the engine there where the engine is partly inside or mostly inside. Man, that's a nice van. It's extended. It's got those custom windows on the side. It's a fucking badass van. You know what? This is the kind of thing, man, I tell you. I think I, even I would buy this. I mean, I like these vans, but most of them are so common, you know? Uh, that uh, That's why I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I, I, I can't believe we're at a point in time now where I've been living in this neighborhood uh, friggin' four years now. And there are way more, way more old vans than there are cars old cars and uh god damn friggin sunscreen is going in my eyes and uh yeah so that's that says a lot about the people near, around here and there's some construction over there and uh yeah uh oh, come on don't start sticking now stupid camera stupid nikon i feel like i got fucked by this company so that's it, man. I'm going to keep pressing on here and see what else I can find here, mostly in the East End. Because I don't feel like taking the Metro, because if, if it feels like 30 degrees right now, it probably feels like 40 right now in the Metro. On the Green Line, specifically. Anyway, uh, bonjour de tout Have a nice day. Adios. Sayonara. Wow, only like what? Not even 10 minutes ago. I just filmed. The same size, around the same years, Dodge Ram, camper conversion, custom conversion, running boards, you know, what is it, 88, 87 to 93, and here's another one. Not even 10 minutes later. Only in Hoshalaga. Maybe the plateau, that's about it. I'm not going to fucking see that in RDP or uh, West Island. <laughs> I know, I lived in the West Island the longest time. Wow, that's really, um... So uh, that's why you got to see both of these together. I mean, how could I not? You know, even the roof looks similar to the one I just filmed. Even the style windows, look, it's the same large size rectangle rectangular sort of shaped windows except the other one's got three of them i have an excellent memory when it comes to vehicles other things eh, questionable and look even this one too it's even got a, um, a bug deflector and it's funny because actually biking up to it i got the schwinn over there of course uh <laughs> actually reminded me of my my dad he used to work for bell canada and that's that's what he drove he was do drove a dodge ram like this the same silver color of course the other part you know say about here was was blue and they weren't long like that either by the way so there you go that's pretty cool uh that's really weird about the mud fluffs though anyway guys so uh yeah that's about it man i'm dying heat already i've only been biking what 20 minutes so uh take it easy well, guys how do you do that elton mcfall here and my 
town of Montreal as usual because I'm not too much of a broke ass to go travel anywhere. But hopefully, you know, that'll change. Well, this is a really nice surprise here. I'm here in the Point St. Charles borough of the city I was born and raised since 1975. Well, more or less anyway. And look at this. Here's another Dodge Ram extended van. This one about, uh, oh, 80 to 84, 85, I think, 85. That's a nice shape, typical white. But there's something right away that I'm noticing that's weird about this funky old thing here. Let me see. Okay, no, for a second I thought the front grille and all that was changed and that the rear was older. Of course, it would have usually had hubcaps, you know, even the dog dish ones. Hey, nice little surprise to add to my... Hey, I've seen two of these, like, in the span of 10 minutes last week where I am in Hashalaga. I mean, how cool is that? Look, 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 it's a 79. There it is. It says in the plate right there. Because, like I always say, here in Quebec, that's as personalized as you're going to get for a license plate. But you see, that's how cool old cars and trucks were. Look. That's all the popular now. You don't even have to have fucking hubcaps on an old car truck because that's how cool they are. Just the rims alone were nice. Today it's like whatever, fuck. They're all the same on every car. No matter if it's American or Canadian. I like the graphics, by the way. That's a nice touch. Another one that probably came out of West somewhere there. British Columbia. Alberta. That's a nice touch with the plant there. Come on, don't go out of focus. There we go. Hey, that's a really nice touch. Really nice interior, actually. <whistles> wow. Hey, so an estate belle van, so little tabarnak. There's not much mileage on this, I think. When you see an interior, is that original? The overall condition, the chrome. There's not a lot of mileage on this one. This actually, out of the three, I think is probably the nicest. And there's my thumbnail right there. Look at that glare coming off that window. It did, actually, come to think, but I have to mention, since I'm noticing it, because I'm visually impaired, a couple of things I'm noticing. Three things. The glare is not as much as you see in the, in the video. The, the camera has a propensity to do that white balance thing, make things brighter than they are. Another thing I noticed, wow, look at that camper on the top, how strange that is. It's so different, it's like kind of almost, it looks nautical, seriously. Wow, and look at that, like the windows on an old MCI coach from the 60s or a new look and so many other vehicles, the windows have that kind of a style to them, you know? Well, that's really awesome. That's, uh, I'm killing time here before I'm gonna go see my friend who lives here to go pick up my ads I left in a 68 Caprice. Caprice. by the way. <laughs> a little French joke. Let me just get one last side view of this big honey here. Uh, if I'm thinking right, yeah, this one is the oldest of the three. The other ones were like, uh, oh, I don't know, mid late 80s. Man, that is a beautiful truck. I gotta say, I think maybe I would buy this one even. I'm not, I'm not a big camper van or a van even fanatic like you guys. Don't get me wrong, you know I love them. If I didn't, I wouldn't film them. I don't fucking film anything I don't like. Unless it's something that pisses me off to make a point out there in public, you know? Anyway, so, okay, so, so I wish you guys a nice uh, day. And there you go, 343. Three. Maybe before I, I put this compilation together, I'll find another one, number four. Hey, how cool would that be, eh? All extended Dodge Ram van campers, just for you guys. Especially a couple of you guys I know have them. Hey, so there you go, take care, bye-bye.